الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum greetings Ali Shamma here and today we are testing the Ishin Racer 180 FPV racing quadcopter tilt rotor FPV racing quadcopter all right so let's put the battery in and test it out right away and remember it's a tilt rotating FPV racing quadcopter all right let's see how it's gonna behave if is it gonna crash or <laughs> fly well or not the switch assignment has to be the switch C should be in the middle and switch B should be up and then only you can use the stick to the right and arm your quadcopter otherwise it if the switch is up or down it will not arm because switch middle is kind of like a stabilization up and down will change the flight modes and with the switch B combination so let's see how it goes because in the user manual nothing is said about these things let me put it far because it starts really abruptly and that's a scary all right so here we are arm all right now you can see it's actually staying very very level while going forward and backward oh nice it never tilts actually uh, one of the propellers are going crazy if I go too fast so basically yeah okay nice braking nice going forward I mean the rotors are tilting but quadcopter never tilts which is really really nice so let's see I'm flying a circle and quadcopter never tilts sweet man that's some programming and there's a lot of your authority actually you can see sweet awesome I mean that's some good programming there Ishin you're starting to impress me now see quadcopter never actually tilts but takes up the speed only on the tilting awesome all right now let me see if I can uh, switch the modes oh oh oh, 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 oh. what was that <laughs> it just turned into a rocket <laughs> check this out hold on be careful <laughs> oh my goodness it just turns into a rocket and tries to go <laughs> up like that check this out oh <laughs> this is really dangerous and if I put it down it will probably turn backwards yes I knew it I knew it so this switch is dangerous very dangerous all right now be very 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 careful I don't know what kind of sick programming is that that is really really sick I, I really want to tell you that is really really sick and it is not normal you should not program a tilt rotor like this now what is happening when you put the switch now what is happening when you put the switch C up basically rotors will tilt and hold in one direction like this and quad will have this stance and it will try to hover like this which is really difficult if you speed up it will just go up and there will be no more control for you i mean that is just i don't know that is really inappropriate and that is really unnecessary and totally idiotic to program that stupid mode in this anyway now when you put the switch c down quad tilts forward and well it tries to shoot forward in this direction and you have to control it by putting the angle back on the tilt rotor 
and definitely it's gonna crash straight into the ground we'll see that once again hold on but let's just try the switch switch b and see what does it do okay here we go okay took off this is very nice to have tilt rotor like that but not nice to have what was just happening all right now i'm gonna actually <laughs> put a little light on its feet and try switch b nothing okay basically it's like an acro mode now i believe okay all right now quad is putting the nose up all the time and you see how it's actually hovering whoa this is really really terrible programming on switch b not very good very sluggish very very sluggish So when you go forward, rotors will tilt, but nose will shoot up. So definitely, that's not a good programming. I'm switching back to that stabilization mode. And this is where it is a sweetest flying machine, flying totally, totally leveled with rotors tilting forward and immediate braking as well. So I'm hearing some beeps. I believe that means I'm losing the battery. So let's go. Let's go home. Let me change the battery and fly it one more time. One or two propeller on the front are not balanced. As soon as I shoot forward, they actually do a lot of uh, bulbering probably. Let me clean, clean the floor. All right, battery is completely gone. All right, now the first flight is over and I found the strangest things are happening, which I just tried to explain, but let me go through it one more time. The radio has two switches set for you to change the flight modes and rest of the programming. I don't know how did they do it, but I really, really don't want to get into it and mess it up because I really don't have time to mess up the things and stuff like that. But again, switch B is gonna change your flight modes. That is something like acro to uh you know normal stabilization okay so keep it up all the way switch c you have to keep it in the middle and only then by putting the left stick the rudder to the right you will be able to unlock the motors but when you put the switch c up the motors will tilt forward quadcopter will get into this stance okay more forward okay the quadcopter will get into this stance and now you have to fly it what is that what idiosity is that i just don't understand that you have to keep it this way and fly it around because all you can do is throttle up and shoot up in the skies i mean who wanted to do that all right now now when you put the switch seat down the quadcopter i mean if the rotors are like this quadcopter just switches to this stance now you have to tilt the rotors back and control it but before you do it will hit the ground and roll and hopefully if you hit the grass you might survive at lower speed but at high speed if you tried that it's gonna crash so basically switch B down means crash it mode that is kamikaze suicide crash it break it order a new one that's why 
Ishin has programmed it. So if you want to have fun with this quadcopter, keep the switch C in the middle, keep the switch B up, fly it around. And this baby is just a pleasure to fly then. No more aerobatics, but you may be able to clear the gets really fast. Now, I'm gonna fly it with FPV and see how things are going, if there's any OSD or not. And after that, when the uh, sun goes a little bit down, I'll bring it backward there and we have some gates there and see how easy it is to clear the gates with this one. I don't have an HD camera on board, but I can always record a DVR video with my Ishin VR D2 video goggles. So now, let's go for a first FPV flight on this. All right, so I'm gonna fly FPV with the Ishin Racer 180 tilt rotor in totally tilting rotor stabilization mode. No, no, I don't want to try the other mode. Sorry, Ishin, those are totally idiotic modes. All right, so my goggles on receiving video. There is no OST in there. Anyway, let's fly. Now let me start the DVR recording. <gasps> card error. She, I don't have a card. Normally, I have some cards in my pockets. Found one. <gasps> 16 GB. My goggles are not gonna talk to this card, definitely. And, well, no choice. Let's just try it first. Please, goggles, don't give me card error. Aha! Uh -huh. It's working! It's working! Awesome! Awesome! Alright, here we go. Really, really high speed TF card and recording a crap standard definition video. That's a real card, man. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice. Shoots really fast. Full control, but not that much, uh, not that much yaw authority as I wanted it to be, and uh, not too much roll authority because it's always in stabilized mode. Now, if I switch switch to switch B to another mode, you see, it starts to shoot nose up. And a very sluggish, very, very sluggish. Uh, 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 going to crash. Oh, oh, whoa, that was really sluggish mode, and definitely another mode to kamikaze your quad into the ground. Thank you very much, Ishin, for all the modes you programmed to kamikaze the uh, quadcopter into the ground. Hmm. All right. Nobody is there. Nobody is there. Let me go farther a bit. So while it's flying really straight, it's really, really easy for me to decide which way to go, how to cross the gates, which way to cross the gates, because every time it's completely, completely flying level. Okay. Now. I can try to attempt this, maybe. Hold on. That's a tunnel right in front of me. And I can do it. And that, I did it. I dare not do it with any other quadcopters because of the tilting of the quadcopter. But with the tilt rotor, you can always do such kind of a stuff very, very easily. Sweet! I'm kind of having fun now, man. All right, another challenge to go through this tunnel. Let me settle it. It's too far. I hope my video doesn't break. Okay, we are going through this. Wonderful. Wonderful, we did it. I'm back to this tunnel now, but the wind is pushing from left side. As you can see, I have to 
tilt the quadcopter a bit. I'm losing the video here. Awesome, really, really awesome. Awesome, really, really awesome. This quadcopter is really a great quadcopter to actually do all kind of uh, gates flying, all kind of proximity FPV obstacle course flying because it always stays in level mode and it's really, really easy to fly. Now, let me try to break my own legs. Hold on. Let's see if I can go through this table or not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I did it. Ooh, sweet man. There are some more obstacles for me. Look how fast you can pick up the speed right there on the ground. Super, super nice. All right. I believe I'm running out of battery. Let me land. I don't want to tease my battery too much. This is good. It has a low battery warning. Awesome. Super awesome. I'm liking it. Hold on. I'm actually oh, 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 completely blind. My camera fell down. Okay. Yay. I have recorded everything on my GoPro. All right, conclusion is really, really simple. Flies really, really nice right outside the box. Tilt rotor keeps the quadcopter totally stable while you're shooting forward and backward. Air braking, I mean, everything is fine except yaw is sluggish, roll is very, very sluggish. So yes, when it comes to enjoying the tilt rotors, to speed up or uh, you know going forward and backward on the quadcopters VTOLs you will have to you will have to sacrifice on the roll and tilt or your authorities and basically if you want to program uh, an acro mode well you will have to sacrifice the tilt rotor then because there's no way you can do acro with the tilt rotors all right apart from that as i mentioned uh, switch c has been programmed to kill your quadcopter if you put it up or down switch b has been programmed to kill your quadcopter if you put it down so keep the switch b up keep the switch c in the middle all the time glue it right there trust me glue it right there because if you touch that you're gonna buy a new ishin racer 180. thank you very much banggood thank you very much ishin for programming kamikaze modes in this quadcopter apart from that it's a beauty it's a sweet machine and it's a simply simply a pleasure to fly enjoy i'm gonna get back to my job thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on youtube please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads if you like this video please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites